What is a tautology? A tautology is a statement that is always true regardless of the truth values of the individual statement substituted for its statement variable. A statement whose form is a tautology is called a tautological statement. A contradiction is a statement that is always false. So let's go over a couple of examples for tautology and contradiction. Show that the statement form P or not P is a tautology P and not P is a contradiction. So good to remember these two examples, P or not P, P and not P. One of them is connected together by or, the other one is connected by and. So first of all, let us create the very first row. You have P, you have not P. P and not P are connected together by or. P and not P are connected together by and. Very good. So P can be true, not P is false. True or false is true. True and false is always false. If P is false, not P is true. False or true is true. False and true is false. So as you can see, P or not P, regardless of the values for P, not P, is always true. So it is a tautology. P and not P is always false. So it is a contradiction. If T is a tautology and C is a contradiction, we want to show that the combination of P, any statement, and tautology is the same as that statement. And the combination of P, that statement, with contradiction using AND is always a contradiction. So first of all, let us form our first row. P, tautology, P and tautology, which is this statement here, and then P, contradiction, which is a statement that is always false, P and the contradiction. If P is true, contradiction is always true. True and true is true. Well, P is true as well. So, so far, these two are the same. Contradiction is a false statement. P, which is true and false, is going to be false. So, so far, contradiction and P and contradiction have the same truth values. If P is false, contradict the tautology is always true and contradiction is always false. False and true is false. And since P is false, and we see that they are equivalent to each other. And as we mentioned before, since contradiction is always false, false and false is always false. So as you can see, these two are the same. So basically, they have the same truth values. So P and tautology is always replaceable by P. P and contradiction is always replaceable by contradiction. That's all the goal of writing it this way. Let's take a look at some logical equivalences and see how we can use them. Given any statement variables like P, Q, R, a tautology like T and contradiction like C, the following logical equivalents are always true. First of all, you have commutative laws. P and Q is always equivalent to Q and P. So the order is not important which one comes first. P or Q is always equivalent with Q or P. Again, the order is not important. You have associative laws, which says, hey, if you have P and Q and R, you can group the very first two, or you can group the second two. It doesn't matter. They are equivalent to each other. You have the same thing for OR. P or Q or R can be written as P or Q or R. Guys, please note that we are using the exact same operation here. It's not distribution. It's association. We are not changing anything. All of these are AND. All of these are OR. Next law, number three, is distributive laws. 
you can distribute and over or. P and Q or or can be written as P and Q or P and or. You can distribute and over or and also you can distribute or over and. P or Q and R is P or Q and P or R. So this is called distributed loss. Identity law says P and tautology is the same as P. P or contradiction also is the same as P. Negation loss, P or not P is a tautology. P and not P is contradiction. Double negation law that we saw before at the beginning of the course, the negation of negation of P is the same as P. Idempotent laws. P and P can be replaced by P. P or P can be replaced by P as well. Universal bond laws that says, hey, if you combine P tautology using or, it's the same as tautology. P and a contradiction is the same as the contradiction. So these are all replaceable. Wherever you see P combined with a statement that is always true using or, you can just write that statement that is always true. The same for contradiction using that. We learned about the Morgan's laws, the negation of P and Q, you can distribute negation over parentheses is the negation of P or the negation of Q. And the negation of P or Q is the negation of P and the negation of Q. Absorption law says P or P and Q can be replaced by P. P and P or Q also can be replaced by P. And finally, the negation of tautology and contradiction. The negation of tautology is contradiction and the negation of a statement that is always false is always true. Let's take a look at a couple of examples how we can use these logical equivalences to simplify some statements. Suppose you have P and not Q or P. This can be written as P and P or not Q. You're basically using the commutative law for OR. So here you can switch these. The order is not important. Now, remember the absorption law. The absorption law says, hey, P or P and Q is the same as P. P and P or Q is the same as P. So let's see what's happening here. I have P and P combined with some other statements, all right? It doesn't matter if it's not Q or Q. This is just a statement. You can call it R, anything that you like. So by using absorption law, it must be equivalent to P. So this statement on the left-hand side is nothing but a simple statement, P. Next one, P and not Q or P can be written as P or P and not Q. So here you can switch these around. The order is not important. You can write P first or P and not Q first. This is basically the commutative law. Now we can use the absorption law. Well, remember absorption law. If you have P or P and Q, it's the same as P. But this guy can be replaced by anything that you like. No one's stopping you. It can be R or any other statement. So it is a simple statement, P. So the statement on the left-hand side is nothing but a simple statement, P. Our goal is to use this equivalent statement to rewrite complicated or more complex statements like this.